Hi, and welcome to the Speckim IQ tutorial series. I'm Gail from Speckim, and in this tutorial I will present the usage and compatibility of the spectral libraries located in the Speckim IQ Studio software. Let's open up the Speckim IQ Studio software and through the Applications view, go to the Spectral Libraries tab. On the left side of the view, you can see the My Spectral Libraries list. The spectral references are stored on these separate libraries. For example, I have libraries for plants and apples. If you wish to examine the references inside the libraries, click the desired library and its content comes visible on the right side of the view, to the library content area. Make sure that the visualize selection is active, and select a reference. It will then be visualized on the graph. You have the possibility of enlarging the graph by pulling it down from the lower edge. If you wish to see several reference spectra simultaneously, Make the selections with the shifts or control buttons. To rename a reference, choose it from the burger menu. To rename a library, choose edit from the burger menu. If you want, you can also delete references through the burger menu. You can also import spectral libraries into the Specky MyQ Studio from a location on your computer or an external drive. For example, I have a spectral library on a memory stick that has been saved from Envy Software. It contains references from different plants. Make sure that the memory stick has been attached to your computer and then select the Import functionality from the My Spectral Libraries menu. Search the location of your spectral library and choose the header file. Then press Open. The Reference Import dialog then opens up. In this view, you can examine the library contents by visualizing the references. You can select and add references individually to existing libraries or create a new one. To import several references simultaneously, choose them with the Control or Shift buttons. Once you're happy with your selections, press Add. If you're happy with your references, choose Import either to an existing library or a new one. If you wish to import the full library, press Ctrl A to select all. For more information about importing spectral libraries and the compatible data formats, please see the Speckium IQ online manual section titled Importing a Spectral Library. You can also add references to spectral libraries directly from the datasets in your catalog. Go to the catalog and open the dataset you want to select references from. Double-clicking the thumbnail opens up the extended dataset viewer. Go to the Research tab and choose the pixel you want a reference from. Click the Save as Reference option, which opens the Save Reference dialog. Name the reference. and either choose an existing library or create a new one from the burger menu. The reference has now been saved. You can also add references from the model creator. Through the applications, go to models and open up the model project. Through the classes view, double-click open the class creator. 
Choose a reference picture that you want to export into a spectral library and choose it from the burger menu. Again, name the reference and either choose an existing library or create a new one. The reference has now been exported. To share a library, choose the desired one and select Export from the Burger menu. Choose the location you want to export the spectral library into and press Select Folder. The reference has now been exported to the desired location. In this video, we went through the usage of the spectral libraries in the Speckim IQ Studio software. If you found this video useful, do give it a like. And please subscribe to the Speckim Spectral YouTube channel to receive updates on the Speckim IQ tutorial series. Thank you for watching.